Nina was first diagnosed when she was three months old with ADA skid, which is a severe combined uh, immunology disorder. It basically means Nina was born with no immune system and does not have the ability to generate any immune cells to help her fight infections. When Nina came to uh, hospital in Great Ormond Street, she was critically, critically ill and her body had developed a lot of infections that she was unable to fight. So the first course of treatments for Nina here in Great Ormond Street were basically getting her healthier so they could start pre-treatment for gene therapy. It was quite amazing. Within a matter of four to five weeks, we actually saw uh, a change in her shape, in her form, in her weight. And for the first time, she really began to start eating properly. The way everything was managed and run and performed and the level of care and the level of research going into the hospital and the treatment, it, it really gave us a good feeling in our hearts that we'd really had made the right decision uh, in coming to Great Ormond Street. Great Ormond Street has now treated 50 children, and not just in the UK but also abroad, uh, children that would have died if they had not had this treatment. Nina now lives a perfectly healthy, normal life. Now she can play with other children. For the first time she can go to preschool and we don't have to worry about people coming to visit who may have a, you know, a cough or a cold or anything that would have been fatal to her when she was younger. To anyone helping with research or donating uh, to Great Ormond Street for research, what you are doing is not, it's not just saving children's lives, um, but it's also impacting the, the lives of their families as well. So for every single child, there's brothers, sisters, parents, aunties, uncles, uh, who all benefit and see the miracle of you know, a child's life being saved by the treatment, which can only happen uh, if research continues to come in. I believe without research and funding, children would not be diagnosed and we would not be able to help them. Um, for me, this is key because I've seen it with my own eyes how our daughter's life was saved.